Hey guys, welcome to Be A Learner. Here in this session, we are going to discuss Hashicorp Terraform with Azure. The objective of this session is to start using the Hashicorp Terraform and write your own infrastructure as a code into Azure. We are going to try to start using the Azure DevOps with Terraform right from the beginning. So if you are beginner and want to learn Terraform, this is the right place to start with it. Please do consider to subscribe the channel if you like the video. Let's begin. In Terraform, there is a reserve file called variables.tf which is reserved for your variables. So inside a given folder, let's say I'm onto a IAC folder. So inside a given folder, I need to create the variable files and all the variables which I'm going to use it here, which I'm going to define it here, that's going to be the variables which will be used across the different Terraform files. For example, I have created this variable file and now I'm going to use those variable inside my Terraform file. So let's say var dot, this is the syntax if you're ref referencing any of the variables. I'm going to name, give it a name like this. And then location, which is var dot location. This time we are going to add tags as well. Part name name is accounts. Let's say. So we are adding basically some of the additional attributes, which is tags. So I will call it as a better tags. As you can see. Let's run the same command, Terraform plan in it and plan as you can see the resource group is modified now because I've added the additional tags this is the modification I've added the additional attribute which is tag but the rest of the things are remaining, remain same. Let's run the Terraform apply command. This is about the variables. You can consider the variable as a global variable. If you are a .NET programmer, you can think like a variables mentioned in the variable files are the global variables. If you are familiar with the RM template, then the variables, you can treat it like the parameter files. Now, let's look at some of the global keyword. Oh, sorry, some of the, pardon me, some of the local keyword the keyword local, how do we use those keywords here in the Terraform. Let's consider the scenario, I have the resource group name with the variables divided into a different different category. For example, I have let's say project name company name or organization name, organization name, company name, environment name, and then environment instance.
you can have the description as well you can have the type as well I'm making it as a string so there are data types we'll discuss it in some different section the type different data types and the variables now what if I have these variables so one way is you can do the join operation in your main file you can use the for format operation and format the different variables like this I'm going to run the terraform init command again terraform plan as you can see there are no changes which we have expected because we have done nothing just updated like I said we have just distributed a single variable into multiple and here we are concatenate, concatenating with the use of format now this is the one way but I won't recommend if you are repeating and you, if you are trying to you know uh, applying the operations at the same uh, in, in the resources so better to use the locals in such cases so local is again a keyword which you can use in terraform like this so what you can do is is the name of let's say the source group name you can give the name of your local and when you are going to use the local you should be using it like local dot remember here I'm not using local with s locals I'm just using the local the name of the local which I'm using it here let's see if it works terraform plan no changes to the actual resources it's just we are internally managing our code logic now you can define your locals your providers into any files you recommend you can have the multiple local section as well here yeah. but I would also always recommend to create a local different local files and then call it local.tf this is what I do so that I know how many different local variables I have created so that I don't duplicate those variables and it would be more manageable and I also like to create provider.tf so that let's say if you are going to have the active directory providers azure ad providers uh, azure rm provider or any other providers within azure you always try to keep all those providers here in the same file so this way the code looks much more manageable and cleaner to read because here in this file the objective is just to create a resource group you don't want to mix and mix up with any other code line so this is the way you should define your language and define your code I'm going to run the terraform plan command every time I I'm, I'm used to run the terraform plan and apply command uh, not apply but plan and initiate command just to make sure any changes which I'm doing it I'm not disturbing the actual logic 
but you can this is always going to be good practice so you should also follow the same thing so as you can see there is no changes in the plan which is what we are expecting by doing this we have learned how do you use the variables in terraform and how you use the locals as well thanks for watching the video if you please give it a thumbs up